I don't have to go to the ice and I'm in trouble. Dave Canterbury crawled on his belly to look over. That's a cliff. What I have to hope now is I can actually get them to take a bet here that will give me usage of the rope. Yeah, here we go, here we go. If I can tell you how high that is without even looking over it, do I get to use your rope? Without looking? Yes. And you're not going to use a rope to do it? Oh, Dave, that would be cheating. Within how many feet? Within 10 feet, less than 10 feet. All right, Colonel. I'll take that action. You're on, daddy -o. Right. Give me some space. Okay. What do you need? Uh, a, rock, a, a rock I'll start with. Yeah, a rock. Okay. Give me a second, give me a second. Below! Two and a half seconds. Two and a half, two and a quarter, two squared, four. I had a bit on that because it's going to be four. 72 feet. I got to say, I think that's pretty close just from eyeballing it. Just tell me when you confirm my mathematics. By counting each stretch of rope as he pulls it up, Dave can ballpark the height of the cliff. What do you make it? About 65 feet. So 72 is definitely within 10 feet. Come on, team. Time to learn. Distance traveled is the initial velocity times the time it travels plus half of the acceleration times the time it traveled squared. So it's a half of 32, 32 feet per second per second is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 16 times um, five, which is the time squared, which comes up to 72. It sums. Do you not do mathematics? That's what engineers do. We do them in our head. English major. 